Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's Sarah. Always think up. Um, so I'm doing these readings, and I like to call them a daily expansion. So today we have a daily expansion for Thursday, October 27th, 2016. And what this is, guys, is I just have really been, um, you know, getting in and getting connected to Source and trying to figure out a way to help others through all this great stuff that I have been learning. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know what's going on, but I know that God has some really cool stuff to tell us, and I really love it. <clears throat> so, today I picked a bunch of cards, and what I gather is that we have a lot of people that are worried about the dreams that they have in their lives, and where they're going, and they've been doing a lot of thinking, and and now it's time to take all of your thoughts and turn them into creation. Thank you for the love. Um, so for my first card, you know, <clears throat> I pull these cards and it's questions that people have. So are you worried? Do you have many what-if thoughts? Are you identified with your mind, which is projecting itself into an imaginary future situation and creating fear? There is no way that you can cope with such a situation because it doesn't exist. It's a mental phantom. So we're creating these things in our mind, and, and they're not even real. So, you know, in this world, you can create the biggest roadblock just in your mind. So if in your mind you think that you're a failure, and you're not good enough, and you're not strong enough, and you're not smart enough, you know, that can just block you out. So then a lot of people, what they'll do is they're creating these things in their mind, and they're blocking out, and then they're turning around and they're beating on God and saying that it's all God's fault whenever, really, it's just your mind. We have free will with our minds to do whatever it is that we want in this world, guys. So, you know, I know that there has been a lot of thinking. So in the past, present, future, it tells me that, you know, everyone just like me has been just really thinking hard about, you know, their dreams and, and, and what's going on. And, you know, maybe in our dreams we might feel upside down. We might feel like we're not sure right now about what we're even dreaming about. And that's normal. That's normal. And you guys know me here at Always Think Up. I want to raise the vibes because the more you raise your vibes, the more your dreams seem like they're reachable. Um, guys, I do a lot of really fun stuff. And people say, you know, how do you do that? It must be nice to have so much this or that. I'm just a regular people. Except for I put my faith really, really high. So, you know, when I'm out here saying that I'm going to take a trip or, you know, when I'm out here saying I'm creating the job of my dreams or things like that, you know, I can't get that with people. I can't get um, people to back me the way that Source backs me. I can't get regular people to understand that stuff. So, you know, guys, when I come in and I connect with Source and, and that is where I find my my love. That's where I find my encouragement. That's where I find all these things. You know, some of these, you know, like these readings, I'm sure that some people are like, what are you doing, Sarah? But God is encouraging me in the background. Um, so the first card that we pulled is from your past and it's called Think About It. And this card asks you to step back from your current path or thought process and review the situation you're asking about. There is an unseen aspect, and angels guide you to slow down so you can move forward with the whole picture in sight. This card can also be a cautionary. If you <clears throat> were about to make a radical change impulsively, while it might still be the best path, this card asks you to look at the alternatives first. <clears throat> As an indigo, you are exquisitely sensitive to energy. And your mission is to heal and transform negative energy into a positive. However, there's always a better way to do so. This card asks you to research your opinions for making the helpful changes that are part of your indigo mission. So it's not just me here trying to be positive, guys. It's all of us. This is a collective reading. This is expansion for everyone. So we have a lot of people out here, and I've been seeing it, and I've been loving it. Um, you know, I started my journey a long time ago, and... It was a really negative world, and it was a really negative space, and through my years of learning and trying these crazy, crazy things, and getting so excited, and running up to someone, and telling them how great God was, um, I got a lot of negative comments, um, you know, so that's really normal whenever you're going through life to 
to run into that and, and slow down and think about what you're thinking about. You know, um, I learned, you know, a lot of things in, and when I'm praying to be more specific about my prayers because I was going real fast and I was praying and praying and praying for everybody and it was just like kind of working out. But then I learned if you really sit down and, and you really connect with source and that works out a lot better. <clears throat> and, you know, that goes back into what are you worried about? So think about what you're worried about and think about, is it even really worth it to worry about? Is it just you coming in and creeping in and, you know, stealing your joy? Cause we do that sometimes guys. So right now in the present, I have dreams. So in the present and future, I have your dreams and time to create and they're reversed. So that means that you're just feeling a little bit off about it. The dreams card guides you to pay attention to the dreams you have both when asleep and during your waking hours. They are your connection to the true, fearless, indigo soul and your highest potential. This card is a message to let yourself fearlessly dream, even if the contents of your dreams seem unrealistic to your logical mind. The angels are asking you to strengthen this connection to your higher self so that you can bring into your life the miracles that you have always desired. Guys, we have a whole world full of miracles. I know that it is so hard to see that sometimes, you know, we got these presidential debates, we got this stuff in the water, we got these vaccinations, we got all this crazy, 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 crazy going on. And so some people have a really hard time looking at the life that we have in this magical manner that I, I tend to try to stay into. Um, you know, I know that you can create your dreams, guys, because I do it. And sometimes you create a dream and you get there and you're like, oh, this isn't really what I want. And that's okay because you can go back into your own creation station and you can create a new dream and you can get out there and you can do it. And anything's possible. And so if you're looking to people to support your dreams, to encourage your dreams, not all the people are going to do that. Now, you can come to always think up and... I'll support your dreams. Um, you know, my tribe will support your dreams. Um, that I can guarantee you. Um, you know, if you're doing things for the right reason, you're you're going right. If you if you get a feeling in your body, um, uh, you know, so some people will feel in their body good things or bad things, and when you're feeling in your body, that's a sign from God. So when you're in a situation and you're feeling crappy about it, that's a sign from God. Like, just back away from that. If you get this feeling in your body, you know, like I learned healing work and I was really unsure about it, but the fire that it, that it put in my body, I couldn't stop it. I couldn't draw it down. So when I would go at night and I would lay down and I, nobody heard of this dream, nobody understood me in this dream. I didn't even understand it myself. Um, but by following that dream and by plugging in and, and, you know, maybe I took a lot of really crazy classes that I didn't need to and maybe I ended up in a lot of states that I really didn't need to be in, but I was really following my dreams, guys, and, you know, the conversations, I would have all kind of conversations with people about healing and disease and, and I wasn't even sure and, you know, people are coming to me for these things and I'm not a doctor or anything, I just learned energy work, I learned healing work, um, I wasn't really sure in my dream and I have to say, guys, like, you know, I'm right here too with all of this. So I've been dreaming up all this really crazy things. And sometimes I'm just as guilty as all of you. I just take it to regular people and I want them to support me. And they don't always do that. So just know that when you have these dreams, go call on the angels. Go call on source. That's where it's at. That's where the love is. And for our last one, for the future, we have it's time to create. And I see that you guys are really unsure. You know, um in your dreams and in your creation, um, uh, I see that there's a lot of uncertainty in that. So this card calls for you to get in touch with your creativity and express yourself through art, inventing or performing. As an indigo, you have a lot of pent up energy that needs an outlet. It's time to create something from nothing. Know that you are a divine channel of inspiration. The angels ask you to bring something unique to this planet that can only come from you. Ask them to work through you, and together you will make a masterpiece that will bring blessings to the world. Embrace your creativity helps you to realize that your ability to manifest in this lifetime is only limited by your imagination. 
which goes back into the are you worried about some shit that ain't real um all right guys we're supposed to be creating we're supposed to be creating so every single person that watches me and follows me and emails me and messages me we all have these different things that we want and that's the coolest part because different things that you want they mean something to you for different reasons and that meaning it might sound silly to anybody else it's important for you so when you have something in you that's really important you need to follow that lead you need to take it and run with it um, you know right now is a time to create all kind of things so as you guys know we are switching vibrations um, we're coming from a very masculine vibration to a very feminine vibration in the age of Aquarius so you know a lot of people are their genes are changing and they're softening up a little bit and they're getting a little bit more tender and a little bit more emotional and so sometimes people in that space are feeling a little bit weak and worried and that's where you're creating these things in your mind about am I crazy for thinking this do I do I really think I want to do this am I just trying to stick out or am I just trying to be different um, everyone's going through it guys every single person so you might see somebody over there acting tough but I'm telling you right now that with the age of Aquarius they're on the inside like quiver and like I just want to go give that girl a hug um, so start spreading the love guys if you're watching me on always think up I just want you guys to expand I want you guys to all feel your connection to source I want you to all give your things to the angels whenever you can't um, sort through them and when you don't have enough strength to figure them out so my last card is Abraham Hicks getting into the vortex because you know with these dreams it's easy for me guys because I've been studying this for a long time so you know Abraham Hicks taught me about the vortex in my vibration and you know I studied the law of attraction for a very very long time and Sometimes in studying the laws of attraction, some things work, some things don't work. And then you start to wonder, what makes that happen? Well, you know, God is always answering prayers. However, he's going to answer your prayers at the vibration that you vibrate. So if you're vibrating in the doo-doo and you ask for some really great stuff, you're going to kind of get it down here. Where if you can send your wishes out, keep your vibration high, you know that's love you and love everyone else if you can send if you can pray in crazy and send those wishes out all over um, send your dreams out all over and then keep your vibration high so you know don't sit there and worry that you were worried about your dreams don't sit there and worry about what you've been thinking about or what you're trying to create in the future let that worry go and raise your vibes you have to just kind of disconnect from your mind and your purpose sometimes to actually get there. I know that gets a little tricky. So, this is a really cool card, guys, and I'm really excited. It says, I came as an extension of source energy. I'm feeling that today. Um, you came as a physical extension of source energy. Understand that you would explore contrast, causing expansion, not only for you, but for all that is. You knew that you could find your way back to the resources of your source by feeling your way and by understanding that the relationship between you and you is not of separateness, but of alignment and resonance. When you master the art of allowing your consistent alignment with the source within you, every other relationship will be beneficial and pleasurable. So, you know, are you worrying about relationships or your dreams or anything know that you're connected to God you know <laughs> it's a weird place to be in to try to teach people who believe or don't believe or you know I, I've been you know I embrace every name that you call it and every every way that you celebrate it and and do it but we are all connected to God no matter what you believe in no matter what you've been no matter what your mind used to be thinking or worrying about you are very much connected to source you are source you know people say that I'm crazy because I tell them that God is in our brain and and I thank you for the love step. Yeah, just keep throwing love on there. That's my love girl. You guys can follow her lead because I love love. Um, we are also very connected to Source and you know, some people can take that and get worried and did Source see what I did before? Did Source see me cuss that man out? 
Did Source know what I was thinking about when I wasn't really feeling myself? Yep, Source knew all that. But Source still loves you through all that. So that's the thing. Don't be worried about your past. Don't be worried about all the crap you've been thinking about. Every single day you can start new. Every single day you can have the biggest fight with your mom and your neighbor and quit your job and everything else. And you can turn around and you can wake up in the morning and you can be brand new. You can be this really soft, dainty, nurturing mother, whatever you want to do. You know, you are the only one that holds on to that stuff. God doesn't hold on to that. God doesn't hold on and say, hold on a minute. You didn't think about what you were thinking about seven years ago. I think you need to be punished. He's saying, hell no, drop that shit. Create. Time to create your life. Create the best life you can. You know, I, I have met a lot of people through Always Think Up that give up on God because they have lost someone that they love or they have been through, you know, these traumatic experiences or these terrible diseases. And I get it. I get it. I, I lost a lot of people I love. I've been through a lot of really crazy um, physical problems. And, 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 you know, physical problems can lead to mental problems. I get it, guys. But I also know what it's like to get healed from all of that because I asked for it. It took a long time. It wasn't just a miraculous thing. And be new. I know what it feels like to be worried. And I get what the angels are telling us. You know, um, your thoughts don't identify you. Your thoughts don't make you who you are. You know, I, I go through my thoughts sometimes and I think all kind of really crazy things. So people say, when you're creating and when you're doing these things in the laws of attraction and when, when these things are going up, um, you know, what do you do whenever you feel the jolt? Or what do you do whenever you feel like you messed up? Or, or things like that. Uh, I try to just let it go. I try to just let it go and think of playing with my niece and my sister. Or, you know, maybe I try to let it go and just make some really good food. Um, just let it go. Don't dig on anything for a long time. Don't just sit there and hold on to that thing because you're the only one holding on to it. So, <clears throat> I'm doing these... Um, daily expansion readings and that's for everyone and you know it definitely does we're all connected guys so it touches down on everyone in a really um you know special place for you so i'm also going to do readings um for people so if you want to find me i'm at alwaysthinkup.com you can message me thinkupalways at gmail.com you can find me on facebook i'm just rolling around in source love guys and i really love it um We've all been there. We've all been there. You know, lean on somebody, call somebody, ask somebody. I'm telling you, they'll tell you that they've been there. Just don't look to these people for source energy because they're not going to give it to you. You have to take the time. <clears throat> you have to tap into source. That's your job. Um, source isn't. Uh, source will chase you around, but you have to really sit down, <clears throat> tap into that feeling to feel protected, to feel that your dreams are nurtured. To feel that it is time to create, and it's okay, and anything that you're thinking of is okay. Um, it's time for some new stuff, guys. So we gotta get out there, and we gotta show them some new stuff. Keep your vibrations high. If you need to, you know, any piece of this. If you're not worried about the rest of it, but maybe something stuck out to you in this, message me, call me, anything you want. I love the love. We're all connected, and this is how I'm proving it, guys. Daily expansions, one love. Mwah.